In the previous exercise, we had to calculate uh, the area of a rectangular length times width, and we had hard-coded values. In this exercise, we have to change it, so we prompt the user for two values. So let's go back to the editor, where we have already the, the, the script with the hard-coded value. Now, instead of uh, having that, we change it to stdin, and uh, here again, stdin, so we are typo. So we are getting the u values from the user, but in order to make it a bit nicer, we first print out uh, a question. Now I don't uh, write too much, I don't type too much here. You can probably be nicer and have a full uh, sentence to explain the user what we are using, what we are looking for. But here I'm just typing in uh, the keywords, so uh, we'll understand what uh, need to be typed in, and then switch back to the console and run the calc script, and it asks me for the width, so I type in 5, and the length, and let's say 10, and it gets 50, and I can run it again, and then let's say I type in 7, and uh, 5, and 35, and that's correct, so it's a pretty good program. The, so that's it, basically, just have to prompt for the, for the user to get the values. The next exercise is uh, asking, uh, when, when you ask the user, we have to warn if one of the values is negative, so it's less than zero. And then also make the area zero. So let's come here and say if the width, let's say the width is less than zero, then print out a warning print actually we can use say uh, width is less than zero and if you want to be really nice then we can also print out the actual value and that's it so that's the whole thing ah we are also wanted it to set, set it to zero the length so in that case we set the value to zero and I run this hot now so let's put the minus three and uh, two and uh, it told me well what does it say it says which is less than zero it's minus three and then we ca the calculated result is zero the issue that we see here is that the closing parent is in the new line and if you recall that's because we typed in the enter and we haven't chomped up the value here and that wasn't important for the calculation because uh, originally as you saw because uh, when we are doing the calculation we we'll automatically got rid of the new lines for the calculation but now that we are just printing the value we need to get rid of those values the, the new lines so let's put here just immediately after the reading of the new line of the command line of the user input let's put in chomp and width and let's do the same with length chomp for length so we'll get rid of those uh, values and let's uh, try it again and now if I type in minus 3 and 2 then I get the same result except that now the value is really in the parentheses so it's nicer and then we have to do the same for length as well so I just copy this part and paste it again here and then I need to replace it uh, so I replace the width part with length globally and I can even put in a question here so it will ask me for every place and I'm replacing the values right and now I can run the script and uh, say minus 3 and let's say minus 2 and I get the warning for both of them and the value is set to, to 0. So we can also try what happens if the width is ok but the length is negative and that's still working. So that's how we could solve the problem uh, and then we have now input, we have some kind of an input validation and then calculating the area.